Hey YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to make easy thumbnails using PowerPoint because if any of you are like me, I don't have any Mac design software and I don't have any PC design software. So the only way I can do this is through PowerPoint. Now before I get started with the tutorial, I just want to show you some of the video thumbnails that I've already made so that you can get a gauge of what my PowerPoint thumbnails look like. I also made my channel icon and my channel banner using PowerPoint. Now if these look something like what you want for your thumbnails, stick around and watch the rest of this video. Let's get this money guys. You want to obviously start out with a blank slide, then you want to go to design and go to slide size and make sure it's widescreen 16 by 9. Then you want to go to format background and for the background you can use a solid fill and you could choose one simple color for a background. You can do a gradient fill and I'll show you what that looks like. You notice the color changing, or not the color changing, but the location of the color. Then you can change these to make it look however you want. And you can always mess around with the transparency and the position and things like that. And there's also a picture fill. So they have different textures here that you could choose from. You could pull one from a file from a picture that you took. I like to use the snipping tool. You can pull images off the internet. Here I'm going to show you how to use the snipping tool, which I do for most of my YouTube videos for my thumbnails. but I'm going to stick with the gradient fill for this one. And then you want to insert a text box. I'm just going to type some random letters in here just so you can see the different things that you can do. And I'm going to go with which font. You can use any of these fonts, but I'll use this font for right now and then you increase the size or decrease it depending on what you like and then I drag it to both sides and then so that it can be evenly spread across here when I center it and the text fill is how you change the color of the words the text outline is the outline of the text you can change that color too you can also change the thickness of this so the weight is how you do that text effects make your letters have a shadow these are what the shadows look like you can have a reflection you can make it have a glow on the outside of it which I like to use a lot bevel you can rotate it you can transform them and here's the shape fill the shape fill fills in the whole text box The shape outline is like the letter outlines and the shape effects are like the other shape effects except with the whole text box. Now you can do the same thing with pictures. So you can pull a picture off the internet and PNG pictures are the best because they normally don't have an outline or the white outside 
and here I'm just going to put this image here and show you the different things you can do with images. And just like the words and the text box, you can put a border on it, you can do picture effects. Here's a thumbnail that I made, and here's a poster that I made. You can even make posters with PowerPoint. So don't limit yourself to just video thumbnails. You can use these skills for more than just thumbnails. You can use you can use this to make flyers and tickets or whatever you need to make. You can do using PowerPoint. When you save this, you're gonna save it as a JPEG file. Don't save it as PowerPoint. Save it as JPEG so it's an image. Now I'm going to show you some other things that I made using PowerPoint, like my banner and my profile picture and my Facebook page cover and things like that. All that I made using PowerPoint. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know.